Hey guys, this is Alex from Trademate Sports and today I'm going to be taking you through the top 5 worst celebrity gamblers of all time. Celebrities and sportsmen are notoriously terrible sports bettors as they lack any kind of strategy and aren't afraid to lose millions of dollars. But before I go into my top 5 worst celebrity gamblers, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you get a notification every time we post a video like this. It is a scam when you don't allow everyone to operate on fair terms. We are the Robin Hoods of sports betting. We take something back from the rich bookies and enable our customers to beat them instead. Coming in at number 5 is arguably the greatest boxer of all time, Floyd Money Mayweather. As you can tell by his nickname, Floyd's mantra is based around making money. So it's no surprise that he was recently named the highest paid athlete of the past decade by Forbes, earning more than $900 million during that period. But Money Mayweather is also known for spending his money rather than saving it. In 2014, Mayweather shared his 13 million Super Bowl bet on the Denver Broncos to beat the Seattle Seahawks. He also bet that the Broncos would be leading at half time leading to both of his bets losing. Even other celebrities and sportsmen such as 50 Cent and Conor McGregor have come out and voiced their concerns over Mayweather's gambling problem. McGregor once said, I certainly know he has a big time gambling problem from seeing him. He shows what his wins are, but never shows what the losses are. According to reports, Mayweather has lost a staggering $50 million from betting since 2017 and considering he keeps floating in and out of retirement, it only adds credibility to those claims. Number 4, and you won't be surprised by this one, Charlie Sheen. Famous for his starring role in Two and a Half Men and his addiction to drugs, sex and alcohol, it probably comes as no surprise that you can add gambling to the list. Sheens' exploits in the betting world first came to light during his divorce with actress Denise Richards in 2006. One of the reasons for her filing for divorce was Sheens' gambling addiction, where she claimed he bet $200,000 every week. Not a bad reason at all. But Sheen eventually gave up gambling after a million dollar bet. Why? Because he didn't even care that he'd won. In an interview with New York Times, Sheen revealed that he put a massive $1 million on Oscar De La Hoya to get beat by Manny Pacquiao, but his reaction to winning that bet was quite stunning. He said, I had a dream a week before that he was going to beat De La Hoya like a drum, and he did. It was like, pfft, whatever, I felt nothing. I went, okay, there's nothing left for me here. Unless my children are involved in the wager, there's no sense in making it. Number 3 is one of the best sportsmen the world has ever seen, Michael Jordan. Unfortunately, being a good basketball player doesn't mean being a good better, but with an estimated worth of $1 billion, I guess it doesn't really matter. Jordan will take a bet anywhere, whether that's on the golf course, rock, paper, scissors, or at the craps table. At one point, Jordan owed businessman Richard Esquinas a whopping $1.25 million after a terrible run on the golf course, where he would happily bet $300,000 per hole. He would even be pictured at casinos late into the morning before a big game. He simply loved having a bet. So much so that on a return flight from the Olympics with Team USA, he bet a teammate that he would receive his luggage first at the bag carousel. Unbelievably, he was the first person to receive his luggage, pocketing $900 in the process, but there is quite a catch. He actually bribed airport staff to make sure his bag was first to come off the carousel. Coming in at number two is Manchester United legend, Wayne Rooney. Rooney signed with Manchester United in 2004 at 18 years of age on a contract that was reportedly worth 55,000 pounds a week. But this was the start of a downward spiral for the 18 year old, as Rooney revealed in an interview with 32 Red. I was a young lad who'd just come into a lot of money. For an away game with Manchester United, you'd stay in a hotel, and with England, you're in a hotel for 7 to 10 days. You get bored and do things to fill the time. 
At that time, gambling was one of them. It was easy to place bets by phone. It didn't feel like real money. At the age of 20, Rooney had lost a staggering £700,000 from betting in just five months, with his worst loss coming at the casino, where he lost £65,000 in just two hours. Although Rooney has since gone public with his story and revealing the dangers of gambling, his latest sponsorship deal has raised some eyebrows. Rooney signed with Derby County in August 2019. Derby's main shirt sponsor is online casino and bookmaker 32 Red, who have a history of taking advantage of gambling addicts. In 2018, 32 Red were fined £2 million for failing to take 22 opportunities to help a gambling addict who had deposited £758,000 over more than two years. Even though it was found that 32 Red are not paying his salary at Derby, there is no doubt he is benefiting from them in some way. I mean, come on, he's got the number 32 on his back after wearing 8, 9 and 10 across multiple clubs for 15 years. Number one on our list of worst celebrity gamblers of all time is legendary basketballer Charles Barkley. In 2006, the Hall of Famer admitted to losing over $10 million from sports betting, but what was more alarming was how quickly he lost it. He recounted that at one stage he lost $2.5 million in just six hours. Barkley said in an ESPN interview, It's a stupid, bad habit. I have a problem, but the problem is when you can't afford it. I can afford to gamble. I didn't kill myself when I lost $2.5 million. I like to gamble and I'm not going to quit. Fast forward to 2008 and Barkley was forced to take a break from gambling after getting caught up in some legal trouble for not paying back some debt. But when he returned two years later, he had a newfound philosophy. If you do gambling in moderation, it's all right. I love it. I love the action, but I've just learned to do it in moderation. When I go to Vegas now, I try to win a couple hundred thousand dollars. If I lose a couple hundred thousand dollars, I quit and still have a good trip. If losing a couple hundred thousand dollars on the weekend is betting in moderation, go for it, I guess. Thanks for watching our video on the top five worst celebrity gamblers of all time. If you would like to read the individual articles we posted on our blog of those five celebrities, just head down to the notes section and I'll put the links in there. And if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you get a notification every time we post a video like this again. Cheers, guys.